Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, this is gonna be the last video of today from me, okay? And in this video, we're gonna do a summary about the solutions we used to solve n plus one problem, okay? And uh, in the past or last four videos, we introduced four ways to uh, solve n plus one. We talk about uh, your sorry, your uh, y control y. Yes, we talk about join uh, entity, e n t i t y entity graph, and uh, we talk about join fetch. Right, both of them are part of the JPS specification. So if you switch Hibernate to using another uh, implementation of a JPS specification, it still works. You don't need to change the code, okay? And the second one, it's dynamic, which means you as a programmer, we have a control on when to use them or when not to use them, okay? If you, you can turn it on, you can turn it off based when you write your code, okay? You have full control to choose when to use them. But uh, when we're using entity graph or join fetch, the entity graph gonna using what? It's gonna using left out join, right? And the join fetch gonna using what? Join fetch gonna using inner join. Since it's using join, so we cannot, in entity graph or join fetch, you cannot, okay? join more than one collection. Because if we join more than one collection, the result set gonna be exploded, which means it's gonna create partition product problem. Okay, don't do that. And uh, um, <coughs> another thing, because we are using entity graph and we are using join, which is uh, we make all the things, all the related objects, right? We want into one query, okay? But if some objects um, we need, but we didn't put in the join, okay? Entity graph as the attribute nodes or join fetch, we didn't add them part of entity graph or join fetch. Then it will also have the eager loading or you also has the n plus one problem. Okay, so be aware of that. Okay, make sure all the object you want, you put in the entity graph or you using join fetch to make sure they are included in that query. Otherwise for eager loading association, okay, it's gonna be uh, intentionally or automatically create end queries also. <coughs> Next one, sorry. Talk too much. Batch size. And, uh, uh, oh no, no, let's do <coughs> a batch size. And there's another is a fetch, right? And here we specify, uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, fetch mode equals sub select. Okay. Both of them are static. Okay, and both of them are hibernate extension. Okay, what does that mean? Hibernate extension, which means it's not a part of JPA. If you switch to use another JPA implementation, not uh, hibernate, you don't have the option here. Okay, static means always turn on. You cannot not you can suppose in one case you say i don't want to use in batch size no it's always on so because it's always on you cannot turn it off which will cause batch size it may load a little bit more uh this gonna a little bit more uh, uh is based on the size Based on the size we choose. Suppose I only want to have one object and the size you specify is 10. Sorry, I'm gonna load the 10 for you. Okay, even though I only want to have one. 
and fetch mode fetch sub select sorry it will may load way more okay too more too much more because sub select no matter we only want to have one or we want to have a whole by default okay no in all cases it will load all of all the collections for you even though i only want to have one so in some cases sub select will load more than batch size give to you that's a problem okay so personally when i personally i prefer to using join fetch okay and uh, because entity graph we have to remember more apis join fetch if i if we understand the sql join then you just add the fetch keywords okay it's gonna work and uh, if we let me select between batch size and fetch personally i prefer to using batch size because sub select sometimes it load too much for us okay because you cannot select all of them batch size it depends on the 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 size we configured there it will load as much as sub select that's my personal preference and uh, probably you analyze the problem in your application then you can choose one of them based on your real uh, uh, environment okay so that's it for this video and uh, thank you for watching see you next time and probably see you tomorrow okay bye bye